doing? Hmm, tired. How about you? I'm okay. Um, I wanted to just put together something real fast that you're still gonna find weird. Um, because of all of the horrible things that have befallen uh, Himbo Chef in the last couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So why don't you take off your blindfold? Oh man, cream? Yes. You know okay. how it's been real hot lately, right? Yes. So I thought thematically it would be great to make hot chocolate. Hmm. Okay. You're supposed to be like, oh, Elizabeth, you just said it's been so hot. Why would we make hot chocolate? That's why I said, okay. Mm right, but, okay, let's, let's try this bit. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to make hot chocolate. Okay. Why? <laughs> okay, you're going to be making frozen hot chocolate. Frozen hot chocolate? Yes. That's weirder. Like from the famous Serendipity Cafe. The what? Serendipity Cafe. I don't know what that is. There's a whole, we watched a whole rom-com, Serendipity, it takes place like the... Which rom-com was that? That's the one with John, John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale and the glove, where they keep running into each other. It's not helping. Jeremy Piven's in it? <laughs> so none of this is helping. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so, starting off with three ounces of chocolate. So this isn't the first warm weather treat you've tried to make on Hugo Chef, actually. No, it's not. Uh, do you want to tell everyone about the ice cream pie? Made some ice cream pie. Uh, unfortunately, it turned out that we didn't have the microphone on the whole time, so a lot of that footage is not very useful, which is very sad. At least we got a perfectly normal ice cream pie out of it, didn't we? We did not at the end of the day either. We ended up with a not frozen enough ice cream pie that was more like a soup in a, in a thing. Soup in a weirdly salty shell. Yes. So unfortunately, that was not a success. And it wasn't that the mic was on, it was off the whole time. Yeah, just most of it. So why don't you say that all again with the with the thing on? Because I did not turn on the. This whole video is a mess half the time. Like most of it. The that. main problem is the same problem that we ended up having with the. Uh, I don't even know if I want to say it because I'm afraid that it will send you uh, into an anxiety attack. What's that? Crab roll. Yes, we also had another massive failure that turned out to be very frustrating. <laughs> Just a little garnish of the crab, it's real cute. Oh, there's one. roll which was an attempt to make a nice uh, lunch nice quick lunch that turned out to take all day to make and was ultimately a huge failure at the same time but why would a crab roll take so long to make Adam? plating now spreading some mayo gonna place a sandwich on that, I guess. Noodles are kind of like on it a little bit. And then Chips behind it. <laughs> All right. And then a little bit of chives. Got the chives. Okay. Hold it up. Okay. This is why they do paint. Crab <laughs> roll. Hey, right, after all this time, because it is a 
modern fancy crab roll, which involves molecular gastronomy. Molecular gastronomy and making a uh, roll out of flattened hot dog buns, which did not go well at all. Uh, additionally, there was meat glue involved, which failed, and so the whole thing was just a very messy, terrible thing, which uh, did not go well. And then after all that, it turns out that we accidentally deleted some of the footage as well. So all in all, just an entire failure. You, you forgot to mention the part that I think you found the most deeply insulting. Make sure you get some southern mayo. What do you think? After all this, it's actually not bad. <laughs> tastes better than it looks. Yeah, it tasted okay at the end of the day. Which, uh, you know, we really did not expect given low spirits at the time. But, uh, you know, quite upsetting, personally. We wasted two weeks of content. <laughs> yes. But on the bright side, the vast majority of these technical difficulties come from the fact that we have new equipment. Oh, that's, that's terrible. What? It's doing like jazz hands. It's like... very weird. <laughs> I love you. Why are you, ju <laughs> Why are you judging me? Alright, so what's happening next? So now I am going to melt the chocolate in a saucepan over very low heat. Okay. Stir. Are you going to get all of the chocolate that you've left? No, because that's extra. I'll How... eat that later. Okay. So are you excited about the idea of frozen hot chocolate? No, because that sounds like an abomination against God and man. It's just a cold chocolate. Do you want to rename this and colonize this recipe as yours? I'm not like colonizing it, the... I'm just calling it cold chocolate, because that's what it is. But it's, that just, again, it doesn't imply that it's liquid. I thought you were just supposed to do it till just melting. Yeah, but it's just formed a massive clump that won't melt. It's this. This is what it is. Oh. This is what I am saying. And other bits are now burning. Is it a problem that we're using dark chocolate? I don't think so. It says semi-sweet or bittersweet. We do have some less dark chocolate chips you could put in there if you want, but... Well, we have to throw all of this out and start over, okay. so... It's one failure. Okay, attempt number two. We're going to try it with a uh, different chocolate this time. Hopefully this will work better. It's extra semi-sweet chocolate chips. What's your confidence level right now? Mm, 10%. Oh, okay. I <laughs> went from a scale of 1 to 10. No. It's like, yeah! One. That's the spirit. A 1. But I believe in you. Mm, I guess. I guess I've believed in you before. Yeah. I just need a combo breaker. I'll get my spirit back. <laughs> How's it going? Is it doing better? I don't know. Strain about, yes. That's but more than you had last time. Yeah, it does seem to be. I stopped carrying. I'm just gonna put the cocoa spoon directly in the sugar. That's fine. It'll just give you a chocolatey treat next time you make yourself a coffee. It's still doesn't really.
really stir either. I don't, like, there's just not enough chocolate for it to really stir. Yeah, it's like, if it starts firming up, then return it to the stove, but it's, it's firm the whole time. It's just the paste. Next step is to add in milk. Just a real simple, quick way. Oh, it looks like chocolate milk with big chunks in it, I guess. Maybe now it's good to remelt. Because now you've got more volume. I mean, it's also dissolving a little. That's exciting. That's great. So I think as we've established, cold chocolate cannot be liquid. Yes. I think we have established that. Gonna whisk that bad boy? Yeah. Because that'll help. Okay, so now it's all incorporated. It's got a nice chocolatey milk, I guess. Awesome. So it says to take it off the heat and add in the rest of the milk. Literally, just adding in the rest of the milk. Oh, we have more milk. Excellent. We have more milk. We go through a shocking amount of milk in this house. I told you that I used to go through two gallons of milk and two gallons of orange juice a week. That's wild. By yourself? Yes. What did you do? Like, were you bathing in? No, I was just drinking it. Maybe I'm old, but I just can't help but think about what that would do to your digestion, or at least my digestion. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to make the whipped cream mixture. <laughs> Did you just... I would have thought you would have poured it. Well, now I'm thinking that. Do you this. forget something? What? Uh, an attachment? No, I just don't have one, so I'm getting oh, to that okay. part next. Just try, I'm just trying to support you. Okay. Great. So you can sort of set that and forget that. We've got some ice. What's your cold drink of choice? Uh, soda. Just any soda? Yes. If you said to me, bring me my favorite cold drink in all the land, and I brought you a frosty can of Mr. Pibb, you'd be like, yeah, sure, that tracks. That's fine. Mr. Pibb is fine. What's wrong with Mr. Pibb? I won't accept Mr. Pig Slater in this household. I'm gonna tell Twitter your favorite cold drink is Mr. Pig. It's not my favorite, it's just yeah. like... Yeah! It's just cute. Of, of, of the kinds of cold drinks, any soda is good. <laughs> but what is your favorite? A like Coca-Cola. There, now we've gotten somewhere. We've had a breakthrough. This is started getting weird, I think. In what sense? It's not turning to butter, is it? Maybe. Okay, take it to... Sweet. Yeah, you made butter, babe. <laughs> Should've told... You said to set it and forget it. You didn't say... No, I meant... Set it and be careful. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't realize you had that That's... Butter. Homemade butter. <laughs> I thought you were watching it for a stiff peak, like it said. I didn't know. I was. I missed that entirely because you were like, set it and forget it. I, that was just banter. <laughs> Your banter implied that this would not require as much watching as it actually did. And as a result... 
This is my fault. I have to straight over, and I think you, you the chocolate needs to be redone. Hey, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. This time, set it, but don't forget it. It makes six tea, just about one cup servings. Oh, that's like two cups, yeah. Okay. Definitely looks like hot chocolate and whipped cream. I think you mean cold chocolate and whipped cream. Frozen hot chocolate and whipped cream. Cold chocolate and whipped cream. Himbo's cold chocolate. Himbo's cold chocolate. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Alright, I succeeded, I admit it. Does it taste like hot chocolate, but cold? It tastes like cold chocolate, yes. So, would you make this again? Mm, I hate to admit it, but I probably would. Don't make butter, don't make crab rolls, don't make... Ice cream pie? Ice cream pie. Just make this. Just make this and be happy. <laughs> Alright. I am Adam, this is Himbo Chef. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell us what you want to see in future videos, uh, come up with ideas, because we need those desperately all the time. <laughs> uh, did I forget things? I don't know. You always say subscribe to our Patreon, but we don't subscribe have Subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> Hit that <laughs> notification bell. Doing like a bell ringing yeah. motion. That's what that is. Great. And we'll see you next week. All right. Bye.